In this video, we are going to understand how we can integrate PDF invoices for our customers ordering through our WooCommerce stores. So basically for this, we'll be using the PDF invoices and packing slip plugin for WooCommerce created by WP Overnight. So I personally recommend this plugin. I've been using it for many of my websites. So you can simply install it and now I will activate this plugin. Once this plugin is activated, you can find its menu in the WooCommerce tab at the bottom known as PDF invoices. So you can click on it and you will be redirected to the settings page. Now here they've got various PDF templates that are there. For example, this is a simple one. Okay. Uh, if you want the user to click on the PDF and it opens in the browser itself, you can select this drop down option. And if you want the users to download it when they click on it, you have to select download the PDF. So, this is just an option if many of your users are non tech savvy and uh, they prefer to download it directly. So, rather than opening the invoice in the PDF, in the browser and then asking them to save you can do this now here you can select uh, uh, the template uh, so there is a simple template which is given here and if you want to manage the templates okay you can do it inside the folder wp content plugins woocommerce dash pdf dash invoices dash packing dash slips template simple so basically you can create a customized uh, a template by replicating this in the child theme. So this option is also available with this plugin. If you are not aware about that, you can simply go with a simple uh, format which is provided here. It will ask you the paper size. It can be a letter or it can be a A4 size. So you can take a call on that depending on what type of a printout you want to take. If you want to click on test mode, you can try testing it by test mode. You can also have extended currency symbols. So here it will show the currency symbols once it's, once it's generated. Enable font subsetting. Font subsetting can reduce the file size by only including the characters that are used in the PDF. So if you want, if you're concerned about the file size, you can select this option. Top header logo. So you can select uh, your website logo here. So I'll just uh, select uh, one of the available images. I'll select this DNK. But of course, you can upload your own logo and it will come on the invoice here. You can decide the logo height. Currently it is 3 centimeters. I can uh, do it 2 centimeters also. And you can see how it looks. So this looks much better. You can add your shop name. Whatever your official shop name is, you can add it there. You can also add your shop address here in the invoice format. In the footer, you can add the terms and conditions, the refund policy or any important note you want. You can also add extra fields here. So uh, let's say for example, if you're from India and you want to add the GST number or if you want to add the VAT number, your VAT number, you can do that here. And, uh, you know, it will be included in the invoice. Similarly, they've given you extra field 2, extra field 3 that is also provided here. So this is a pretty nice, uh, uh, you know, plugin which will allow you to customize your PDF invoice. Now let's see how it will be shown. How how, how will it be shown on your order pa page? I'll just uh, save the changes I've done to this layout. I can do it by clicking on the top right hand side. Okay, and now I'll come back to the orders.
and let me select the completed order here so i'll click on the completed order now here there are options of uh, sending the order email okay so if you want you can send the customer invoice also and we can just scroll down here and you can see on the right hand side you've got an, got an option of pdf invoice pdf packing slip so let me just uh, click on pdf invoice and this will open in a new tab here so if you want you can also add the set the invoice number and date here so you can click on invoice number you can give some invoice number if you want to and the date okay and so this is added if you want to regenerate the invoice number with a new layout so you know you can simply click on the delete invoice button here it will ask you this cannot be undone so we'll delete this okay and uh, document deleted now again we can click on the pdf invoice and we can see the new layout has been added instead of the old one and uh, uh, this is how your invoice will look you don't have to do anything since there is no tax tax information is not there otherwise you can also see the tax information coming in your invoice and the customers can directly print this by clicking on the print icon or if you have set the download option they can directly download this invoice as well that's all it for this video see you in the next one